Hi everyone, it's been six months since I did my last video vlog and um, the reason for that is I've just continually, uh, my health is continuing to go downhill. I'm not getting any better. Um, last time I did a video, I was talking about the Smart Cam Pill procedure I was going to have or had had um, where I swallowed a big pill that had a camera built into it and it went through my entire GI tract and took pictures. Well, that was back in like Fe January, February. Well, fast forward to March, and uh, and uh, I'm not getting any better. I go back to the GI doctor, and now he wants to do a colonoscopy and an upper endoscopy to see what's going on inside of me. At this time I'm still on Humira injections and they're not helping any. Um, so they put me in the hospital to do the upper endoscopy and colonoscopy for two days because I was so bad. I was just so sick with diarrhea and vomiting even before I started doing the prep for the um, colonoscopy and everything that I had to be admitted to the hospital and it was the worst two days of my life <laughs> so far um, it was it was the second worst hospital stay I've ever had because I was just so bad and um, so they did the colonoscopy and the upper endoscopy and they found out my Crohn's is not in remission uh, but they consider it what they can see. They consider it a mild case of Crohn's, even though my symptoms um, show that it's a severe case. Um, I have ulcers in my where my small intestine and my large intestine meet, inflammation there, and I also have internal hemorrhoids. Um, they basically do nothing. Send me home. Say so come back in three months. See if you're better. Okay, well, I go back three months later, which was last month, June, um, and uh, continually getting worse, not getting any better, and Jeremy and my grandmother go with me and say something, we've got to do something. We've got to do a med change. Obviously, she's not in remission. I mean, she is going to have pain. If she's not in remission, she's going to have pain. She has all the symptoms, <coughs> excuse me, and... Um, so now they're going to do an MRI on all my, everything on me in my abdomen and my pelvis. And um, to see if I have active Crohn's that can't be seen by a colonoscopy camera or a, a CAT scan. Because that is possible. And uh, on top of that, I got even worse news. After they did all this blood work on me, the day I went for my initial visit last month that um, the blood work came back and showed that I have signs of inflammation in my liver. Uh, we don't know exactly what's going on but the MRI will show what everything is going on with my liver. We are concerned about that of course because um, uh, now it seems like I've got other things going on besides my intestines. And um, on top of all, all that, in, in May, I was diagnosed um, <clears throat> with um, what is considered, I guess, chronic staph infection, where I get sores randomly pop up, sores and boils pop up on my, my body, mostly on my right side and on my stomach and my breasts. Um, that I've been fighting, I've been fighting this for three years and I finally went to a dermatologist after I was tired of just having my family doctor throw, um, oral antibiotics at it. Um, this condition, there is no cure for it. I will suffer with this for the rest of my life as along with Crohn's and whatever else decides to happen to me. Um, to combat these sores slash inflammation as they also call these sores, um, I have to wash every day with antibacterial soap and use special lotions for the rest of my life. Once a week, I have to use what I call a bleach gel, 
that um, I wash on whatever affected sores I have in whatever air in the main area where I do get sores to try to combat the sores to keep them at bay to keep the staff uh, the infection under control um, and when I do have sores like I have some now um, we use a topical antibiotic cream instead of an oral because you know we don't want me to contract C. diff again and um, plus antibiotics wreak havoc on my my stomach and my GI tract and it does, so it doesn't help my uh, uh, Crohn's um, however when I did go to my GI doctor last month and talked about MRI and all this stuff he felt like I had uh, an infection in my intestines meaning I had too much bad bacteria built up because I was so bloated and had so much gas like literally my stomach was hard as a rock like you couldn't even hardly push on it and I was so bloated and I mean so he put me on uh, an antibiotic for that and in a week my symptoms did go away but since it's like two or three days after I quit taking the antibiotic um, starting to my gas and bloat and everything is starting to come back so we'll see what happens um, but yeah not very good news um, wish I did have better news but that's basically why I haven't made an update a video update now I have made a um, continually written on my my blog which is Miranda C writes um, dot blogspot dot com and uh, <coughs> I share things there I share videos and things that keep me going and the updates sometimes it's easier to write updates than get on camera when you're feeling so bad um I wish I had good news to share, friends. I just, I do. And um, I'll tell you an experience that happened yesterday. So we were, um, a couple friends of ours from Tennessee were Skyping with us. And in the middle of Skyping with them, I got violently ill. Um, I got upset, which you're not supposed to get upset when you're chronically ill. You try to stay as calm as possible. Well, I, I got upset and started crying a little bit. And... That little bit of crying caused me to get violently ill and start throwing up, and they sadly um, experienced the whole what it's like to live with me day to day. And um, they were like, "Oh my gosh, you know, this you don't realize how bad it really is just by watching these videos and or reading the." Um, my Facebook updates and you just don't really understand until you hear you hear and you see see it for yourself and I think that's why we don't have a lot of people that come visit because I think it freaks them out um, but thankfully we do have friends that still come over and and I understand it it is hard to deal with watching somebody just suffer and that's exactly what I'm doing I am suffering and um, but you know my faith is stronger than it ever has been despite my body trying to kill me <laughs> that's exactly what it is it's trying to kill me <laughs> and um, I just uh, I know God has a purpose for me and and even if I can't get out of my house maybe maybe my ministry now is doing these videos and just leaving my legacy that way you know I I have a desire to play my drums and go out and play my piano in churches again and do puppets and maybe teach a Sunday school class and you know do ministry and volunteer like I used to a lot and do more but I can't and but if this is the way that I can still minister to people and inspire people that despite my sufferings um, I know God has a purpose for me and um, each day that passes on one day closer to fulfilling um, what he wants me to do here and 
my purpose on earth and one just one day closer to when I get to go home and be in heaven and not be in any pain anymore and and uh, be with Jesus and all my family and friends who've gone on and that's the only hope we have none of us are going to make it out of this world alive we're not every one of us has an expiration date but I'm not I'm not just gonna lay down and die I'm gonna live but I'm being just but I might not live as long as some of you but I'm still gonna live even though I can't get out of my house a lot I can't do anything I can't go to church a lot I'm still I'm still gonna continue to read my Bible and pray for people because I you know I can at least pray I can still reach heaven that way I can still help people that way I can just be there for them I can write on their Facebook say I'm praying for you and I just want to keep trying to find what I'm supposed to do while I'm still here because there's a reason I'm not dead yet so but hopefully um, I'll make another video update soon uh, after my MRI and let you know what's going on just pray for me and Jeremy that we continue to just lean on the Lord and His grace and mercy. And He strengthen us as we uh, continue to fight uh, against Crohn's and anything else that seems to want to attack my body now. But uh, God bless and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.